hi friends welcome to my channel and this is the second video of the series of windows over 2016 videos in which in this video i am going to install dns server step by step also you can say i am going to install secondary dns server in my domain so let's have some idea about my demo environment currently i have one active directory server on which I have installed Active Directory Domain Services and DNS role. If you want to check out, you can check out my previous win previous video with the related to Active Directory installation on Windows Server 2016. And if you want to check out my previous server, this is a server on which I have installed Active Directory DNS role, Active Directory and DNS role. Whenever we are installing Active Directory on Windows Server, it's by default installed DNS role on it. So what is the motive behind installing the second second DNS server in the domain? So on the second server is basically a secondary secondary server which holds all the zone information related to DNS uh, related to DNS server. So we are going to do the same. If you want to check out, this is my local server, win2k16, dc01, victorinfosol.com. <coughs> so, this is the, my new server, win2k16, dc, uh, dns01, on which we are going to install secondary DNS server, or uh, DNS role. So, if you want to check out more things, what about the secondary DNS server, you can just go to Google and type and check out the few technet pages so let's move to next and a step by step task to install secondary dns server first need to configure ip address and join machine in domain so i'm going on it my second server win 2 get 16 dc01 i'm going to configure ip address on this machine properties IPv4 here and I'm going to put my IP address for this DNS server oops it's 253 and default gateway is 192.168.1.1 my primary DNS name itself because this server is going to be a DNS server and the alternative DNS is my primary DNS server which I have installed in my network so I'm going to click on OK close it close it and one more thing I'm going to define the DNS suffix and advanced settings here is my DNS I'm going to define it with their info soul dot local and use this connection DNS suffix in DNS registration click OK, OK, close it, close it and now I'm going to join this machine in my domain I'm going to type my domain name I'm going to put my credentials Okay, it's dot local it's not com. Yeah, I'm going to put my username and password. And welcome to Victor Infosol dot local domain. Click OK. I'm going to restart this machine and one more thing we have to do on our primary server under the under the Ethernet adapters I'm going to define my alternative DNS on this server so this server also understand there was a server a network that works as a DNS server that is acting as a DNS server 
so I'm going to remove it 192168 the first is itself IP address and second one is we are going to create a DNS server. Okay, okay, close it and close it. So the server is rebooting. Server is rebooted and I'm going to log into the server. On the second second step, I am going to install DNS server role on the server from server manager. Add roles and features. Click next. Next. Server selection. This is my server on which we are going to install DNS role. Click next. And select the DNS server from here and add features for DNS server management click OK next next and I'm going to install the DNS server on next enable the June transfer on primary DNS server so I'm going on my primary DNS server open DNS management and on my forward look up June I'm going to select my expand my forward look up June and select my uh, June name Victor Infosol dot local going to click on properties under the here is a one tab June June transfer I'm going to select the June transfer and allow June transfer and to any server to any server listed in name server if the server is listed here or uh, only the following server which is given here so if you want to assign from here you can do the same but for now I don't think there was GNS installation is complete so just remove it I'm going to use for now to any DNS server apply ok and same I am going to do for my reverse lookup zone going to click on properties under the zone transfer allow zone transfer to any server for the security reason always prefer only server listed in name server or to use the following server so the installation is succeed on um, our DNS server you can verify mm. um, next create a secondary zone on new DNS server so I'm going to click what was it ok ignore it there is one service that is banned uh, leave it I'm going to restart the service And the service name is trial. And to start it, okay, everything green, got to go. I'm going to tools, DNS, and the task create a secondary just join on new DNS server. I'm going to expand my server forward lookup gen reverse look option there is nothing so I'm going to right click on forward look option new zone and click next and here I'm going to select my secondary zone my primary zone is which is created on our primary DNS server so I'm going to select secondary zone next and the zone name vector info soul dot local next and I am going to put my DNS server IP address here the primary one and validate ok FQD, FQDN is ok so 
we click next and finish once it will take few times to replicate the data from primary server to secondary and uh, meantime I'm going to create new zone in reverse lookup zone click next secondary zone click next next I'm going to put my zone IP address and primary server IP address and it's verified everything seems okay click finished and here you can verify zone transfer has been successful for reverse lookup and if I'm going to refresh the primary one you can see everything is replicated from our primary server to our secondary zone which is new DNS server so we have already verified all the tune has been transfer secondary uh, transfer to secondary zone server successfully so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos if you have any query any question please write me on mail on my given mail IDs and thank you once again for watching my video and See you soon on next video related to Windows Server 2016 tutorial. Thanks once again. Bye-bye.